everyone. Welcome to MGS Coaching Football, and thanks for watching my channel. Now, unsubscribers, I hope I can tease you into pushing that button. Today, in my uh, Cover 10, our version of 3-match, I'm going to teach you how we cover what we call just simply a post-wheel concept. Okay? No special name for the concept of just post-wheel. All right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the match and zone side assignments and rules. And then over here, I'm going to diagram for you on both the match and the zone side how we cover a post-wheel concept. Okay? So first up, I'll cover the, the match side assignments. So starting with the dime, so right, it's Liz, so that's automatically the match. So non-subscribers, push the button. Our dime right here, D, is going to match up number two, vertical or out. Our field corner is going to match up with one, again, vertical or out. The backer is going to match up with three, who happens to be the running back. And the free safety, who starts off on the match side, is going to end up spinning to the middle. Okay, and you'll see how he helps with the post coming from the zone side. On the zone side, the rover is our rush guy. He's the fourth rusher, and we'll teach you how we teach him the read rush component and what that means. The mic is the hook curl, and because it's a vertical concept post wheel, he's going to end up matching him with number three, as is the backer. So they will save the, the two inside linebackers for last. Because there won't be any switching even, you know, beyond the line of scrimmage unless it's the vertical, which is post wheel. There won't be any underneath switching going on, right? Two and three exchanges, we call them. There won't be any of that. So then the boundary corner over here is the deep third defender. So we'll show you how he helps cover the post and then can read and help double cover over the top, the wheel, which last and certainly not least, the whip on the zone side, how he's going to screw down and he's a curl flat defender, but he's going to end up taking that number two wheel. He'll, he'll carry that and he'll have help over the top should the quarterback throw the football to him. Okay. So over here, first thing I'll do in green is I'll, is I'll diagram the post wheel concept on both sides. So again, this is a vertical concept. So this could be, you know, it's certainly a 10 plus the break. Now there's a lot of different ways you can run the wheel. That is the more likely wheel, all right? Sell the out and then turn it into the wheel, trying to hit the void over here. Again, same thing. The break likely at 10 plus. The tight end. Well, I mean, this is a difficult concept. Oh boy, let's see, 2012, okay? Bridgewater State University. Had a great tight end. We were all about we had our best cover guy over here. Okay. We were running cover 10. They heard us not once but twice hitting the tight end on the wheel in the post wheel concept. And we ended up losing the game 19 to 7. And in part because converted on a you know third and I believe it was 23. And then hit it for another time for a touchdown. So that was the difference in the game. It's, it's a tough concept. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is bring this all to life, go through the major coaching points we give our defenders and players, what they're looking for, how they react, etc. So again, I'm going to start on the uh, match side. So first of all, all of our pass coverage defenders read their portion of the surface, which in the 3-4, more often than not, is the uncovered guard. They read him to, to, to know if it's run pass and, and the direction. So they're going to get a high hat from their portion of the surface, the guard. Okay? And it's not hard to teach. And you've got to insist on it. So starting with the dime, 
he sees that he's got pass. He's already in outside shade, okay, on number two. You can, we could line him up inside, then bump him out, but just for the purposes of this diagram, okay, he's lined up in outside shade because he's got him vertical or out. So he's going to start the stem. He's going to take the out, and then he's got to carry the wheel, which means he's got inside. He's in between the receiver and the quarterback. All right, we do not want him in trail. We want him in phase, hip to hip, big coaching point. Even though he's on the match side, it's still a zone coverage. Okay, so we want him to be in phase, right, which means hip to hip. Okay, so he's going to carry that. So now the field corner, same thing. He's going to walk pedal, and now he'll be able Okay, so we got a wall here. If I said carry, I apologize. Wall, he will carry the post of number one, which means he's keeping the, the receiver in front of him. He's on the upfield shoulder, so it's not even hip to hip. He's His hips are in front of his. He's on the upfield shoulder, so he can make a play on the ball in the front. And if the ball's thrown behind, it's likely to be incomplete. Okay? So we got a wall of the wheel in face hip to hip. We got a carry of the post on the upfield shoulder. So those are the big coaching points for the to, to how we cover those two particular routes. The free safety, I remember we're going to save them for last, right? Inside line. But free safety makes the carry call and he signals it. I'm not going to give you the signal, but we do that for film so we can see that it was signaled. We don't ever let players say, I didn't hear it, or I said it. You, you know, not you didn't signal it, or you didn't signal it back. It, we have a visual evidence on on the huddle tape, right? So he says and signals. He responds. He signals to the boundary corner, right? So he zit steps, sees he's got pass. He's spinning to that middle. He sees he does not have a vertical from number two. So now he's working for depth. He's got his eyes over here, so he sees he's got a post. He's going to work toward that post. Because we got a match defender here. Over here, right, we got two vertical routes. So to give some help to the boundary corner, as when I get to that, he's going to favor the post from the zone side. I mean, he's carrying two if he were vertical anyway, so there's no reason he can't get over there on top of it all. Okay, so now as he's coming here, if he sees the indicator, the eyes, and the front hand off the ball indicating that he's throwing it, here, then he'll stop, obviously, and spin back to help out over here. And the key coaching point for all of our defenders is this is more important than the eyes. If the eyes are over here and the indicator's here, he's got to be able to throw it here, right? He's not, I mean, we don't have Patrick Mahomes to face. He's not likely to be able to throw it this way when his shoulders indicate it's that way. You follow what I'm saying? Okay, not to mention the hips. The hips tend to follow the indicator. But none of it matters until this front hand comes off the ball. Even Patrick Mahomes, this hand's got to come off the ball for him to make those incredible throws that he makes off balance looking here, throwing, right? We don't have to face that, but even he has the front hand off the ball. So that's a huge coaching point, okay? So it's not just for the free safety in this case, but it's most applicable to him in defending the post wheel, all right? So now I'm going to come back to the boundary corner. His portion of the surface, as these guys are the pass defenders and they communicate pass to the rover, as he's cluing to, he sees he's got the out. He knows we have a curl flat defender. So now he's going to tempo pedal working towards number one. And then he's going to carry the post to number one. Okay, because to him, that's an out. So now the free, the, the whip, and I'll get back to the boundary corner, right? So the two corners end up having the same technique. Carry the post, upfield shoulder. He zit steps, same thing. 
Sorry, I didn't do that earlier for the boundary. Got the hi-hat. He's it stepping down. He sees the out, so his eyes are going to one. Does he have a curl threat? He does not. He sees the out, so now he's going to buzz to that out. When he sees that out became a wheel, he's got to redirect and wall the wheel the same way the dime does. And obviously, he'll recognize that before he gets that close in all likelihood. So this, this effort to peel, the term is we use peel, to peel and wall the wheel, you know, peel and wall the wheel, right? will happen a lot sooner so he'll peel and wall the wheel so we feel pretty good about that so now i'm coming back to the boundary corner as he's coming here he sees the indicator of the eyes and now the front hand so the quarterback's going to throw to this wheel he will baseball turn to get on top, so now we have the two defenders to try and cover that wheel. So we feel pretty good about that. That's going to take a real great timing and a real arm and a lot of tremendous accuracy to complete that pass. Okay. So now let's come down to to the rover, the coaching point for the rover. That's our attach on a tight end outside linebacker. He's locked in. He's not playing man, but that's his world. He relies on the people behind him to tell him that it's passed, not to mention when he knocks back the tight end, gets a fistful of tight end, we teach him, as soon as your shoulders turn and it turns your hips, let him go. But that alone will disrupt the timing of his release getting off the football to buy time for the whip and, and and screw up the timing with the quarterback on the wheel okay so on the knockback shoulders hips turn let him go now the read rush right we tell unless there's a, another call we tell the defensive end on the zone side on pass you're a b-gap rusher so he's going to rush the b-gap okay because you're going to get multiple hi-hats here because it's a pass play. We tell our nose, okay, to rush a gap to the match side. So on the Liz, he's going to rush the left a gap. Defensive end. Again, this is assuming there's no other calls on. Okay, he'll have outside cage because over here, he'll have the outside cage. So here's the read. Fistful of tight end. Speed rush. If you can beat the tackle over the top, right, finish the circle, all those things, then we want you to do that. Beat him with speed, always. If the tackle has taken a really good vertical set, anticipating that, then we give our rover the ability to rip underneath through B-gap into A-gap. He may not get there, but we give him and we teach him and drill him on that technique. So that's what we mean by read rush. Okay. So now we'll get to both the hook curl on the zone side and the match backer number three on the match side. Because it's a vertical concept, there's no exchanges underneath. So it's all about number three who's in the backfield. So here's what happens. And it's consistent with our match quarters, right? Our gray cut series, gray four, three, two, right? Simply put, now, since there'll be no exchanges, no new number threes, if the running back comes to them, they take them. If the running back goes away from them, they spy the quarterback, which is consistent with our match quarters. So match quarters... Three match, very similar for our inside linebackers. So if he's in protection to you on the match side, you're going to add to the rush through the B gap. He's away from me, regardless whether you're the zone side or the match side backer. You're going to spy the quarterback. So it becomes a five-man rush with a spy.
pretty good. Okay. If, and I'll do it dash lines, if the running back were to come to the zone side, now he would spy, and since we've got a defender in the uh, B gap and the C gap, now he would add to the rush through the A gap with a spy. It just takes away a potential running lane or a throwing lane for the quarterback. Right? A, B, C, A, B, C. Boom, done. Okay? So that's how we teach both the zone side hook curl linebacker and our inside match three linebacker. So in our cover tan three match, that's how we defend on both the zone, match and zone side, the post wheel concept. So again, thank you for watching my channel. I do really appreciate it, excuse me, and, and uh, not subscribers. Push that button.